My shepherd is the Lord. Psalm 23 from the verse 1 through to 6 from the King James Version. It reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest mine head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Word of the Lord. A Psalm of David. The Shepherd, my Shepherd, is the Lord. David, who was a shepherd himself of the sheep of his father, understood what it means with regards to the responsibility that he had in taking care of the sheep under his responsibility. We saw where David saw a lion and a bear took the sheep away and David tore the lion to pieces and tore the bear to pieces to preserve and to save the sheep. And then David turned his attention to God. What David was saying is that God, you are my shepherd and I am your sheep. And just as oh, I extend myself to defend the sheep, to take care of the sheep, to ensure that they are fed and they are well off and, and they are okay and, 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 and that the enemy that snatch them away, I know God that you will do the same for me as my shepherd. That's why David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why? Because my shepherd supplies all my needs. My shepherd restores my soul. My shepherd leads me the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through some situation that's like the shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. Why? Because my shepherd is with me and his rod and his staff comfort me. His word comfort me. His word is my rod. His word is my staff. And they comfort me, said David. He went on to say this. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Sometimes we say, God, move our enemies. Sometimes we say, God, take them away and kill them. You know, David said something which is important for us. He says, Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. David would have to have his enemies around to see God bless him. So instead of you asking God to remove your enemies, just ask God to bless you that your enemies can see it. That when God is pouring out his, his blessing upon you, when he sets the table before you, the enemy's mouth will fall. The enemies will wonder how you made it through. When they, they cast their darts at you, they, they throw their words at you, they try to harm you, try to hurt you. But God set his table because he, he favors you. Now, when, you're, when you have an opportunity around the table of the Lord, you're demonstrating that you're well favored of God. That God have have you covered completely from top to bottom, from head to toe, from side to side. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Though I know this mine head with oil, my cup run it over. That mean that mean my blessing overflows my life. And then David said this. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Not just today, you know, not just today, not for 10 years, not for 15 years, but he says, all the days of my life. You see, when the shepherd is in control of your life, it's when you rest into the the responsibility of the shepherd. It's when you don't go out and do your own thing and live your own life, but you submit yourself to the shepherd. You see how he takes care of his own. Then David said, 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The enemy have no place in the house of the Lord. Everything that I need I'm satisfied, I'll be satisfied in the house of the Lord. I'll be well taken care of in the house of the Lord. I'm blessed in the house of the Lord. I want to say this to somebody. Just submit yourself to the shepherd. The Lord, my shepherd. Just submit to him and, and follow where he leads. You cannot go wrong. And the enemy cannot destroy you. And don't necessarily pray that God will move your enemy. You can pray that God change your heart. But don't pray that God kill them. Because you're going to need your enemy to see when God is blessing you. And they will wonder, how, how is it that I can't kill you? How is it that I can't destroy your life? But you will testify that the shepherd is my God. My God is my shepherd. And goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's God. Do have a good day. Be strengthened, be empowered. In Jesus' name, bye-bye.